guys, Flipotaku, and today we are taking a look at my entire anime collection. This is everything I've been collecting over the years. It's gonna be a long video. I got a monster to make sure my voice stays silky smooth for you. And let's get into it, guys. First thing I'm gonna grab, Gurren Lagann. I'm sure you guys know what this is. This is one of the best giant robot series of all time. One of the best mecha shows and probably my favorite Gainax show. I think I might like it over Neon Genesis Evangelion. You know, Eva you have to be in the mood for. This you can throw on at any time. I don't think Otaku Mike likes this, but Otaku Mike has bad taste. He likes Monster Girl, so yeah, let's keep going. I actually just got done doing a podcast with On The Shelf about um, this very show, Gurren Lagann. And I had a blast talking to him. It's one of the best shows. We both agreed. Um, if you guys wanted to know why I did this, a um, couple of like movie YouTubers like uh, Chris Stuckerman and uh, that guy, that flick guy, uh, they've both done similar videos. And I was like, you know what? I haven't seen anybody do it for anime. So here we are. And then here we got uh, all four seasons of Yu Yu Hakusho. This is the best, hands down, the best battle shonen series of all time uh it's better than hunter hunter in my opinion and it's one of the rare instances where the anime is leaps and bounds better than the manga uh the manga ends kind of a i don't i remember the ending for the manga not being that satisfying but the ending for the anime is phenomenal and they add a character that's anime only and it works perfectly then we got big o uh big o is a sunrise uh, anime, and it is. Imagine bat. I mean, a lot of people say this, so I'm I'm sure it's kind of cheesy to say, but uh, imagine Batman if he had a giant mech. Uh, that's basically what it is. It's this world that has like a bubble around it, um, and kaiju's and mechs start attacking. It's been a while since I've seen it, but this is the complete collection. It has all 26 episodes, seasons one and two. Uh, they just put out a steelbook, I believe, of this. So if you have not seen this, go pick up the steelbook. It looks really beautiful. Uh, I just don't care enough to upgrade from the Blu-ray because this is complete. If you're wondering about my shirt, this is a Run the Jewels Killer Mike shirt. So uh, it means it doesn't mean I'm a drug addict. If that's what you're thinking, I definitely I don't do drugs at all. Actually, I don't even drink alcohol. I'm very boring. Um, loop in the third part four, the Italian adventure. This is one of my favorite. Uh, Lupin seasons. Uh, this is all 26 episodes. Now with this release, there's two versions. Uh, this is the Japanese language, which has the original score. The English uh, language version does not have the original score. So if you care about that kind of stuff, because the original score is phenomenal, pick this up, pick up the Japanese language version, another discotheque title. You're going to see a lot of discotheque in my collection. Um, Hell's a uh, very underrated studio madhouse uh, movie. Uh, I just talked about this recently in my best anime releases of 2019 uh this is a phenomenal film uh very out there very abstract but really really good uh then we got i don't know why i include this, this is the transformers the movie uh, i forgot to include the special edition the 25th anniversary box set for the show uh that's up there but i do have that it's up there i don't know why i forgot to include it um, yeah, Transformers is awesome, uh, especially, you know, the old show, and especially like when Unicron comes in, uh, such a badass, badass villain. Uh, this is my childhood, even though I was born in 92, this was a little bit before my time, but I was around enough people to where they instilled the love for Transformers into me, so I'm really thankful for that. Um, we got Still Sealed, I have not seen this, uh, Asylum Sessions, uh, the Asylum Session, uh, it looks really cool. I like the art style, and this was part of the Sentai Filmworks uh, sale going on, so I got that. And then I started this uh, Shadow Skill. It's a Battle Shonen anime, and it is pretty badass. I actually really, really like it. I can't tell if this is a bootleg or not. There's no indication that it is a bootleg. Uh, the video quality is really professional, uh, really high, really well done. Um, I, if you, you are going to see a couple of bootlegs in this video, so I know what a bootleg looks like, but this is actually really nice. So if it is a bootleg, congratulations, whoever did that, but they usually include the company's, uh, logo, uh, bastard. This is a really awesome 
dark fantasy anime. There is a manga of this. Uh, it's been going on since the 80s. It's still ongoing. Uh, it's not finished. I believe it's been on, hi been on hiatus for like a decade or something. But the manga is super out of print. It's early Viz stuff. I believe they only did 19 volumes, I think. Uh, but this is a pretty decent adaptation. It's six OVAs. Uh, so check it out if you guys want. This is also really, really cheap on this on the uh, secondhand market. Uh, this is Basilisk. This is the complete uh, Blu-ray series. Uh, this is a really awesome ninja show that I really love. Uh, I have the manga of right behind me down there. Uh, Basilisk, because I think is a little underrated as time has gone on and has gone past it. And I don't see a lot of people talking about Basilisk. And then we got Code Geass. Another awesome Sunrise anime. Again, Taco Mike doesn't like Code Geass. So, I don't know what's wrong with him. Because this is a phenomenal, phenomenal show. Uh, then we got Star Blazers 2199 Part 2. Part 1 is in here somewhere. Like I said, this is how you do a remake. This is space opera at its finest. Uh, then we got Evan the Rebuild Films. Evangelion 3.33. You cannot redo uh, then you got 2.22, you cannot advance, and you got 1.11, you are not alone. Uh, these are, I think if you are a fan of Mecha, these are very crucial to your collection. These are very important. And the last one, 4.4, is it 4.0? It's 3.0 plus 1.0, 3 1 right? I believe it's the title. Uh, it's coming out next year in theaters in Japan. Um, we'll probably get it shortly after because EVA fans are just super hungry for new content. Uh, then we got Helsing Ultimate, the complete collection. Finally, uh, Funimation put this out in a single Blu-ray before it was like nine different Blu-ray sets or something. They were all the price of this. They were all like 60 bucks. So one of the best uh, seinen in my opinion. I really enjoyed the manga. The manga is out of print. So if your only option is to get it in the anime, get it. It's beautifully animated. Uh, does a lot of cool religious stuff in it. And then we got Godinar. Godinar. Um, Godinar is one of those anime where uh, when you watch it, you really enjoy it. And then as time goes on, you kind of don't go back to it. Uh, I did get this for, I believe, my wedding anniversary. My wife picked this up for me. Uh, and this is all 26 episodes. It's the complete series. And after rewatching it, I absolutely love it. I think it's a blast. It's one of my favorite uh, one of my most underrated mecha series with some fan service. And I actually don't like fan service, but it works really well. Uh, this is Lupin the Third, the woman called Fujiko Mine. This is a really out of print series, but it's detrimental to any Lupin fan. This is a beautiful uh, series. And I think this might be my favorite Lupin show or my second favorite. It's like part four of the Italian adventure and this are like right up there for me. Uh, then we got the Vision of Escaflone. Now, this is technically an isekai, but this is an isekai done right. This is really awesome. It's a high fantasy show with mechs, but the mechs have to do with like dragon blood, and there's some really cool high fantasy concepts that work there, and I had an absolute blast watching it. And speaking of absolute blast, we got Mob Psycho 100. Guys, I think in 10 years, this is what's going to be considered an, a classic. Season 1 and 2 blew me away. I like this a lot more than One Punch Man. I think this is a phenomenal, phenomenal series. Looking around, I don't know if I have my One Punch Man DVD. Oh no, I think I might have forgot my Blu-ray for One Punch Man. Oh, well, but this is a phenomenal show and I highly recommend you guys picking this up. Uh, hopefully we get season two on Blu-ray really, really soon. Uh, then we got Macross Plus, the collection here. Uh, this is a... Macross is one of my all-time favorite anime uh, franchises and we're going to get into uh the bootlegs here in a second but i do own part of it officially you know so you can't say hey you, you haven't supported i think i've supported my favorite industry enough here manga and anime uh then we got baki the grappler this is the complete series all 48 episodes this is the og series um the new Netflix stuff is actually pretty good. I really, really like the new Netflix stuff. And my wife actually likes it too. She was pretty hooked on it as well. Uh, it made her laugh. There's this one scene where one of the uh, bad guys is pissing next to like just a normal like Japanese salary man. And his stream is just like overflowing the urinal. And I thought that was hilarious. Cowboy Bebop. Uh, not much to say. This is one of the best anime of all time. 
Uh, there's a reason why it is on everyone's list. It's it's timeless. It's one of those shows where it feels absolutely timeless and it almost never came to fruition. Uh, Watanabe is a genius. I Everything he does, I end up loving. And Trigun. Now, this is a show where this is probably my childhood wrapped up in one show. I was obsessed with Vash the Stampede. I was obsessed with the lore, the setting. I thought this was amazing. Uh, but sadly, it doesn't hold up as well as I would have wished, especially with Cowboy Bebop being around the same time. Uh, Cowboy Bebop just holds up indefinitely a lot better. Uh, we got Demon Lord Dante. This is uh, Go Nagai. You can always tell a Go Nagai protagonist by his L sideburns. Uh, this is imagine giant demons, but instead of um, people being inside giant robots, uh, the main character gets inside of a giant demon. It's ridiculous, it's over the top, it's gory, it's silly, it's Go Nagai. Uh, demonic monsters, satanic rituals, and deep family secrets abound. Whoa, sounds awesome. And it is, it's actually amazing. Um, Blood Lad, this is still unopened. I uh, got this for super cheap. I am going to eventually watch this series again. I have seen part of it, and uh, this is 10 episodes. This is, this is the complete series. Uh, I know Insidious Swede loves the manga, so that's how I first heard of this uh, franchise is through him. Uh, and then we got Robotech, the Master Saga. This is, uh, I believe, the complete thing. So this is one, two, and three. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Robotech is one of those things where it's, it's, Robotech stands up on its own, but Robotech did something very interesting in its time where it took footage from three separate animes and combined them together. Which sounds like a massive undertaking and a massive headache, in my opinion. And then we got Macross the movie. Again, Macross is kick-ass. It's phenomenal. It's one of the best mecha things ever. I'm glad to own that. Thank you, Otaku Mike. He sold me that. Uh, we got Saga, Tanya. Saga of Tanya the Evil. This is a... Is it an Esekai? Because technically they die, so I believe the area is a limbo. I'm not sure, but this is a really fun, over-the-top series uh, a lot of gore, a lot of violence, um, just a little, it's a grown man stuck in a little girl's body killing a lot of people. And if that sounds badass, if that doesn't sound badass to you, then I don't know, I don't know what to do for you. That just sounds awesome. Uh, then we got Star Ocean EX. This is a discotheque series. Uh, really surprised that we even got this. If you guys know the Star Ocean franchise, is a series of JRPGs. Uh, the last one, even though it gets crapped on, it came out on PS4, I can't think of its name, Integrity of Faithfulness or something like that. Uh, really enjoyed it overall. I think it's solid. And this is a really fun anime as well. And then anytime we get more Appleseed, I gotta gobble it up. This is the Appleseed Complete, the original 1988 OVA. Uh, this is a very important uh, cyberpunk sci-fi series. Thank you, Discotech, for putting it on DVD. I wish, I, wish we would have gotten a Blu-ray, but beggars can't be choosers, can they? No, they can't. Uh, then we got Aura Battle or Dumbine. This is a Sunrise anime from the creator of Gundam. Uh, this is a awesome isekai. I believe it's an isekai. I think it's an isekai. Uh, I haven't seen it in a while because it is long. It's like 50 episodes. And I don't have uh, a lot of time to be watching a 50-episode old anime that I have seen before. Really like it, though. I remember, remember loving it. And then, again, Zabongo, another Sunrise anime. Uh, this one don't like as much as Aura Battle or Dumbine. Uh, it's too goofy in my opinion, and, and uh, the, but the but the mech is awesome. The actual is the actual is a bungle, is pretty badass. And then we got what we got here, we got Super Sentai. Which Super Sentai is this? Gingaman. Uh, this is a you know Super Sentai. If you guys know, I'm a huge uh, fan of Power Rangers, huge Super Sentai fan, and Tokusatsu fan in general. Uh, really happy to uh, for Shaw Factory to be putting these out really love it. I just included it. I included a lot of Tokusatsu stuff because, you know, Tokusatsu and anime go hand in hand. You know, we got Kamen Rider build. Uh, these are the bootlegs. We are probably never going to get Kamen Rider in the States. And when we do, I will put my money where my mouth is and I will buy all Kamen Rider that comes statewide. I'm telling you, I will buy every DVD or Blu-ray that's officially out. Uh, Kamen Rider build is one of the newer Kamen Rider series and had a pretty cool gimmick to it and honestly i loved it i love the i love the suit combinations i think this is a very fun common rider series and then my favorite common rider uh show of all time is common rider black this is older uh the bootleg doesn't really hold up that well uh, i had to turn the uh brightness up on my monitor when watching this but 
again, this is a fun Kamen Rider series. It's my favorite. I love the action. I love those. I love those plot lines in this. Really happy to own it. Then we got Kamen Rider, Mass Rider Ryuki. Uh, this is another solid Kamen Rider series. I can't really go I, I, again. You know, Kamen Rider. You think people watch it for the fights? I actually really enjoy some of the storylines in this. So. Happy to own this. The one, I, I don't know if I'm missing Forza or not. I think I, this is uh, Agito, Master Rider Agito. Uh, this is all 52 episodes, 51 episodes. Uh, another good Kamen Rider series. Another, probably the one I'm missing that I really, really want is probably Forza. It's written by the same guy who wrote Gurren Lagann. Uh, we are getting some space here, so I'm going to put my drink up on the table. Uh, Bubblegum Crisis, the high definition dystopia anime. All eight OVAs on one single disc. This is put out by, for some reason, I didn't do this, but my stuff is upside down. Um, huh. Anyways, uh, this is put out by Animigo. They've been doing some Kickstarters. They got Gunsmith Cats. Uh, then they got uh, another one coming out really soon that I need to back. I need to pick that. I need to back that Kickstarter. Rem Please remind me, somebody two back Kickstarter. And then we got my Gotcha Man stuff. So we got Gotcha Man, the movie. Um, then we got Gotcha Man F, which is Gotcha Man Fighter. And then we got the sequel, Gotcha Man. And then we got the glorious box set called Gotcha Man. Uh, I did an overview for this on my channel. Gotcha Man is one of my favorite Japanese superhero franchises. I love it, love it, love it. Uh, happy to have everything, I believe. I don't have Gotcha Man uh, crowds. I don't own that one yet. Uh, I was a little hesitant, but somebody recently told me that they really liked it, so I'm probably going to eventually pick it up. Then we got Iron King, another tokusatsu show. This was officially put out. This is by Mill Creek. Mill Creek got the, light, got the rights to um, Ultraman, so I'm really excited to see what they do with it. The only thing is, guys, this is officially licensed, and this looks like a bootleg. This is worse off than the bootlegs that I have, you know. Uh, just like little sleeves. There's not even like a holder for the discs. Uh, but again, beggars can't be choosers. I'm happy that we even got Tokusatsu in the States officially. Uh, then we got Mechanical Violator Hakaider. This is a really awesome, really abstract Tokusatsu. Very violent. Uh, really surprised that we got this even in the States. This is a very weird thing for somebody to put out. Um, I love it. It's one of my favorite tokusatsus, and if you can find it, uh, it there was a point in time where it was ab just absurdly expensive, and then the price just went insanely down, like 10 bucks. So if it's fluctuating, it's not worth anything. I wouldn't pay more than $30 for it. Again, another Mill Creek Entertainment official tokusatsu release, the Super Robot Red Baron. Again, with the... Almost bootleg quality uh, of the releases, but again, beggars can't be choosers. I'm gonna keep saying that. Uh, again, I haven't watched all of this, but I had a lot of fun, and I'm glad that we have Tokusatsu officially in the United States. Um, doesn't really classify as anime, but Aeon Flux. Uh, this was just next to a bunch of anime, so I just grabbed it by accident. I left Avatar and Legend of Korra over there, so whoops. And I left Itchy the Killer and a bunch of other Japanese films, but uh, this is a good series. I don't know how well it holds up. This was a couple dollars at Best Buy in their clearance uh, like bin. So I remember loving uh, Liquid Television when I was a child and because I thought it was so edgy and just so cool. I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. Uh, Ultraman, the original complete series uh, put up by, by Mill Creek. They are re-releasing the show on Blu-ray. We are getting Ultra Q. Uh, and then Ultra Man. They have the entire franchise. They're putting out these beautiful uh, steel books alongside just normal Blu-ray. So if you don't want to pay an extra ten bucks for the collector's steel book, you don't have to. But one of the best Tokusatsu franchises of all time. Uh, I need to. I'm behind a couple seasons of it. I go through. I, I go through phases where like, I read a lot of manga, and then once I'm burnt out on that, I watch a lot of anime. Once I'm burnt out on that, I watch a lot of Tokusatsu, JRPG, so on and so forth. Uh, and then we got. All of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure on Blu-ray. Uh, I decided to leave the special edition boxes in the drawer uh, because they take up too much space. Uh, I do. The only problem I have with these is that to get the bootlegs, you have to buy the stupid box sets. And I don't want an art book. I just want the damn shows 
on Blu-ray. Uh, JoJo's is one of my favorite franchises. I love how it started off like overly masculine and then it gets the character designs become very feminine and I love that. I think the battle scenes are creative. I think the stands are very creative as well. I think Haraki is one of the greatest of all time. Uh, this is the Hayao Miyazaki collection. This is a this was an Amazon exclusive for a while. Um, I forgot what this comes with exactly here. Uh, let's see. We got uh, the Castle of Cagliostro, Nausicaa in the Valley of the Wind, Castle in the Sky, My Neighbor Totoro, Kiki's Delivery Service. Fun fact, Kiki's was the first anime that I took my wife to go see. We saw it in theaters while she was pregnant and she loved it. Uh, we got Porco Rosso, uh, Princess Mononoke, Howl's Moving Castle, Ponyo. I think Ponyo is super underrated as one of Miyazaki's movies. Uh, the Wind Rises. And uh, we got some bonus features, like some bonus discs about the making of his movies and stuff and yada 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 um yeah miyazaki is one of the one of the goats he uh is one of the greatest of all time i definitely think he's a little um mean you know i think he says some mean things about different people and different cultures when he should maybe you know focus on being a good dad instead of uh talking shit about other people uh so the, the first um the first bootleg set i want to talk about is uh Hajime no Ippo, this is the complete series. This is the newest, this is the newest uh, blue, uh, bootlegs that I've gotten from uh, Nostalgic Rewind, so thank you so much. They sent these over for a review. I am taking them with me to Florida to watch. But this includes uh, The Fighting, which is the 1 through 76, the complete series. Then we got New Challenger 1 through 26 and Rising 1 through 25. This is the complete Hajime no Ippo experience. Uh, again, this is a series that probably won't ever come to the U.S. in any official capacity because it is so long. And I completely understand why publishers don't want to, you know, risk spending a lot of money on something that's probably not going to sell very well here. But again, love it. Um, Girls on Panzer. Very cute. Very fun show. Uh, this, is the, this is the complete series. There's only 12 episodes. And when I read 12 episodes, I forgot that, you know, I don't think there ever was a second season, right? But yeah, this is a very awesome show. Happy to own it. Uh, then we got Sayuki. I have not seen this, but I believe the manga is coming out as well. This was part of the Sentai Filmworks uh, sale. Was it part of the... No, it was not. Uh, I don't know why I have this. I'm going to watch it. It looks awesome. The premise is awesome. It sounds and looks badass. The cover is badass. So that's probably why I picked it up, because it looks pretty badass. Then we got Akami Got Kill. Uh, one of those things where I have both the manga and the anime i enjoy parts of both but i don't fully love both e either of them so yeah kami got kill solid 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 seinen battle shonen battle seinen uh then we got the fate stay night the only two things part of the fate series that i have we got stay night the complete collection and then i got unlimited blade works uh again not too knowledgeable on fate it's one of those uh it's one of the gaps in my anime and manga knowledge um, I know a lot of people love it and I'm just one of those people that haven't picked it up yet or dive, you know, deep into it. And then we got Mobile Suit Gundam, Iron Blooded Orphans, season two, part one and two complete. This is part of the uh, box set that I got. Uh, I think Iron Blooded Orphans is one of the better newer, uh, Gundam series. A lot of people shit on season two, but I actually like season two. Uh, and I like the, I like the ending. I think the ending took a lot of risks, uh, in terms of characters dying and i thought that was awesome then we got my gundam wing collection we got endless waltz uh collection one and collection two this is the complete uh series on blu-ray uh i wish i would have got the box set uh because the gundam double o box set that i have is beautiful and i love it uh gundam wing is one of those series where a lot of kids in the u.s is their first introduction to gundam and uh it doesn't really hold up now that we're adults but it still holds a very special place in my heart uh, this is the complete OVA series for Girls on Panzer. Minus, it says complete OVA series, but, man, my leg is asleep. It's, it's really asleep. Um, it says complete OVA series, but it is missing a single OVA that they ended up putting out on a Blu-ray. So I'm going to have to pick that up eventually to have everything. And then we got Garo. This is uh, everything that is out that is published by Sentai Filmworks under their Kraken, Kraken releasing uh, sub sub brand. Um, which I believe puts out just tokusatsu stuff. Uh, Garo's a tokusatsu show. It's a mature 
tokusatsu show and i really liked it overall but again that's one of those things where i haven't seen all of it and it's a really dark show there's a lot of mature things like imagine if tokusatsu was on like showtime or hbo or something uh here we got the five star stories this is a uh anime adaptation of a light novel and i really really liked it roger proctor one of my buddies told me to pick this up very just abstract very weird ideas in here and it's one of the most beautifully animated series I, that i own uh, i need to get on my knees real quick because i am having a sleeping leg problem so yeah we are back here uh, we got blue seed uh, this is the complete series again this is one of those anime where when i was doing research for this uh, people were saying this is either their favorite anime of all time or they didn't like it at all so i decided to uh pick it up and I liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun. I thought it was a blast to uh, to watch. And then everyone knows I'm a huge Mazinger fan. This is Mazinger Z, the Impact, the complete series. How many episodes? 26 episodes. Uh, really well animated for its time. And I think it's uh, one of the better Mazinger ad uh, adaptations. So go pick it up. Another discotheque title, just like Blue Sea. Uh, then we got Black Blood Brothers, the complete series. This is something I wanted to get because I wanted a fun action show. And this sounded pretty cool. It's got vampires. It's got swords. It's got guns. It's got everything I like. So I picked it up. And then we're getting more into the bootlegs. This is Naoka Urasawa's Monster Complete Collection. Uh, this is all 70-ish episodes, I believe, right? 70-some episodes. Uh, Monster is one of the greatest anime and greatest manga of all time. I think it's one of the greatest stories ever told by a human being. And uh, it's sad that we probably won't ever have a re-release of the anime officially. Um, you can probably find them on PAL versions, but I, when I was looking for it, some of the PAL regions were also out of print, like severely out of print, so I decided not to uh, get it. And I found those bootlegs for a lot cheaper than what I would have been paying uh, another bootleg, this is uh, Gunbuster OVA episodes 1 through 26 and Diebuster OVA episodes uh, 1 through 6. Another Guy Next classic uh, series. Um, again, this was sent to me uh, for free. Uh, I just want to put that out of the way by uh, Nostalgic Rewind. And uh, I really love this series. I, I had seen both of these before they sent it to me. And uh, I'm really glad that I own these. Nostalgic Rewind, I'm not just saying this because they send me stuff. Uh, they are the highest quality bootlegs that I own. I own a lot of tokusatsu bootlegs, uh, but out of everything I own, these are the best high quality bootlegs that I own, hands down. Then we got Neon Genesis, uh, the bootleg uh, complete collection. This includes, uh, this is the TV box set. So this is all the shows and this is the film box set. This is the like rebuild, not the rebuild films. This is everything but the rebuild films. The uh, reason why I own these, um, I missed out, you know, when the when the platinum box set was happening, it's one of those things where I kept telling myself, oh, I'll get it next year, or I'll get it next month, and so on and so forth. And eventually, it became severely out of print, and those are cost less than uh, buying the official release on the secondary market. And at this time, I can't. There's no way for me to legally buy it. And the Netflix version, even though I'm very thankful Netflix put this out. Uh, different voice cast the ending song has changed so it's like one of those things where it's like do you want to preserve uh anime history or do you just want to be a complete stickler and be like no bootlegs allowed ever which i think is i think you should give some bootlegs a pass uh, it's not my job as a consumer to I, I i keep saying that it's not my job as a consumer to worry about what's available legally for me if i want to watch or read something i'm going to watch or read it so if i have the money which I spent a lot of money, obviously, um, I'm going to want to buy something. Like, for instance, Kamen Rider. When I f was getting really back into Tokusatsu, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to watch Kamen Rider. And then I realized in the 30 years that Kamen Rider has been going on, 30-plus years, there's not a single – there's two available series uh, for license, but they're the ones I don't want. They're also, like, 200 bucks for a set. And then I was like, I'll just import them. And then the imports are also, like – $500 for a Blu-ray box of a Kamen Rider. It's just, it's just insane. Uh, this, this is another uh, thing that is made me pro bootlegs. This is the complete Macross set. As you guys saw, I, I own the only Macross that came stateside. So you can't say 
put your money where your mouth is. I own it. This is the complete Macross series. We got uh, SDF Macross, F Macross 2, Macross Plus, Macross 7, Macross Frontier, Macross Zero, and Macross Delta. Harmony Gold owns the rights to Macross and sadly will probably never, ever, in my lifetime, probably ever get an official release for Macross. Uh, if you guys know, they have blocked the, they have blocked the release of Macross. Um, more macro series coming over and they renewed the licenses they were supposed to be up in 2021 uh they renewed them at i think anime expo this year they announced you know that they're gonna try and do the best but it, they've for 20 years they have not done shit with the license so uh my hopes are very thin and my patience are very thin so if they actually do i will rebuy it i will pay for um I will, I will pay for it officially. Another bootleg sent to me is uh, Eurosai Yatsura. This is all 218 episodes. This is a beloved series. I started it, uh, and I really enjoyed it. I think this is a very fun series, very fun show, and I highly recommend you guys uh, checking out the manga. At least the manga seems to be pretty fun. Let me set those on the floor over here, because we got three more stacks. Uh, this is Devilman, the complete OVA collection. This is from 1987 to 1990. Uh, really gory. If you watched and loved Devilman Crybaby, you owe it to yourself to pick up the original series. This is the original OVAs. Uh, fucking one of my favorites. One of my absolute fucking favorites. Discotech did a phenomenal job with that release. And then we got Venus Wars. Uh, this is a show. It's a movie, right? I believe. It's a movie. Um... It wasn't that good. It wasn't that good. But this is a discotheque release that is now out of print. They Their stuff very rarely goes out of print, but when it does, uh, fans do like to jack up the prices quite a bit. But hey, if you are a collector of mecha shows and science fiction, uh, pick this up. It's okay. It's you know It didn't, didn't leave an impact on me, but it's not going to leave my collection. Uh, the only Full Metal Panic that I own is the original, I believe. Yep, the Anime Classics Complete Original Series. I'm really, really upset that I missed the Collector's Edition of Invisible Victory, but they are doing just a standard blue right now, so I'm super pumped about that. I'm uh, happy that I'll be able to actually own that. Uh, Full Metal Panic is one of the best mech series of all time. Uh, there's some good humor in there, some good romance, and uh, a lot of kick-ass action. You guys are going to see a lot of mecha series, you guys are going to know. Uh, Samurai 7. Uh, this is one of those shows where when it came out, it was super hyped up and super talked about and super crazed. Uh, but I remember uh, kind of being hit or miss on it. And then after watching it as an adult, I think it is beautiful. I think this is a must-have series. So if you own uh, a Blu-ray player or a DVD player, you owe it to yourself to pick this up. Now, this is both... I, see, this is, the, this is the thing that I don't like that companies do is that they will put... Uh, the Blu-ray and the DVDs all in one box and charge you a specific price. Uh, I just want the Blu-rays. All right, just want the DVD. Let me choose. Don't let me. Don't make me pay for both. I don't want to pay for both. Okay. Uh, Zillion Funimation put this out. This is a uh, series based on a toy like laser gun that got produced, and this is the first time it's ever been out in English. Uh, this isn't for everybody, but if you are a lover of anime and you are a lover for this time period of anime. Uh, from the 80s, I believe, uh, you owe it to yourself to pick this up. And kind of surprised that the Funimation, of all people, picked up Zillion. Uh, then we got this fat boy right here. This two or three Cs. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Complete series. This is all five seasons. Uh, just a massive, massive, massive uh, collection of DVDs. Uh, can't believe that they put it out like this this is just insane and i love it i love Yu-Gi-Oh. uh Yu -Gi -Oh is one of my favorite uh franchises it's my favorite card game uh, i was i never got into uh magic the gathering like at all uh i did my toes in it but Yu-Gi-Oh was the thing that stuck with me as a kid uh, then we got the galaxy express 999 uh this is the i do and the movie uh, more Leji Masamoto uh, goodness. I'm really glad that Discotech picked this up. Uh, like I said in my best of 2019 video for anime, uh, Justin Cervakis put a artificial film grain layer on the movies uh, to help it 
look better aged, and I think it, he actually did a very good job with that. Oh, uh, we got Testogen 28th, uh, the complete 1980 series. This is in the OG, OG Testogen series, but this is, uh, I think, the second rendition of it. Uh, fun, fun giant robot show. Pick it up. Uh, then we got Cyborg 009. This is my favorite um, release of the year, anime-wise. Uh, this was on Toonami as a kid, and they never aired the last episode. And if you guys follow Discotech or you follow Justin Vegas, who does a lot of the Discotech uh, Blu-ray encodings, um, he, it took him like over a year to get this uh, brought back up and looking decent. And I think he did a great job. This is standard definition um, on two Blu-rays or one Blu-ray. Uh, really awesome. Uh, Yawa, Yawa Mushi Pedal. Uh, this is the complete original TV series, a fun little uh, sports shonen that I haven't finished, uh, but I've watched the majority of, I think I've watched all of this. Uh, there's another, there's a, two movies that I need to pick up. And then I think I'll be caught up with the franchise. Uh, then we got Reborn, uh, one of my favorite shonen now. Uh, all 203 episodes. This took me by complete surprise. This is one of my... Just the quality of animation, the quality of storytelling, it Just it starts off like real low and then it just skyrockets upwards. Um, again, can't believe that Discotech put out the complete series. Uh, and for something that's in standard definition, it looks, it looks beautiful. Uh, 91 Days, a really cool... Um, uh, prohibition era anime uh, this is something like if you have a dad who likes clint eastwood movies i think he would like this sh series a lot uh my dad makes fun of me for liking anime but i think if he actually sat down and watched this he would uh be pretty mesmerized i think it's i think it's really really good and then we got space patrol luco uh studio trigger classic series it says essentials and i would agree a lot of the essential titles i don't agree with i'm like eh, that's not that essential but I think that's a very cute, fun, uh, bite-sized anime. And then we got the Mamoru Hosoda uh, movie collection. This includes uh, The Girl Who Left Through Time, Summer Wars, Wolf Children, The Boy and the Beast. Uh, I haven't seen Wolf Children or Boy and the Beast yet. Uh, that is on my to-watch list. I'm going to watch it with my wife, probably. She likes the style of anime films. And then we got Steins Gate, classic series. I haven't seen the sequel series. Uh, Zero, I believe, is what it was called. Uh, I've heard mixed things. I've, I've heard diehard fans of Steins Gate say that it's good. And I've heard diehard fans of Steins Gate say it's bad. So hopefully it's not bad because I would like to enjoy more Steins Gate. Uh, another Shinichiro Watanabe uh, anime, Space Dandy. This was like, this was a, this took over like my friend group. People who I don't, don't normally like watch anime but watch Adult Swim stuff love this and i think this tapped into this is i think this aired in america first before japan i could be wrong but i believe that is the case and i definitely you could tell that this was made for the american market and it's and it's awesome it's kick-ass it's hilarious one of the funniest uh things i've ever watched in my life and then we got uh spriggan uh taco mike sold me this uh it came with the soundtrack and a bunch of stuff uh, this is a really solid uh, movie. This is the ADV Films. This is an R-rated movie. I didn't realize that. Um, yeah, it says in the back here, compelling mix of Raiders of the Lost Ark and James Bond. I would agree with that. That is a perfectly uh, perfect description of that. Uh, this is still uh, unopened. This is the Rage of Bahamut. It just says, I believe this is based on a video game, like a cell phone game. Uh, really weird that Universal owns the rights to this as well as Funimation, but uh, it's 12 episodes. Uh, the trailer kind of intrigued me, so I decided to pick it up. It was on sale on Amazon one day, like a year or so ago. Then we got Violence Jack. This is probably the worst anime of all time. This is uh, this is garbage. This is the worst Go Nagai an anime thing that I've ever uh, owned and had the displeasure of watching, but it's ridiculous. And for some reason, I'm keeping it. I think it's. Uh, I think it has its place, but it is. Uh, if you like lots of just random rape and random violence, uh, you'll enjoy this. Uh, it's there's a lot of wrong in this anime. A lot of wrong. Uh, so be forewarned. Then we got Cyber City: The Final Collection from the director of Ninja Scroll. Uh, this, he also directed uh, Vampire Hunter D. Bloodlust. 
Uh, this is a really awesome movie. So definitely uh, check it out. This is awesome. Then we got Mazinger Z, The Infinity, which is the one of the newer uh, adaptations of Mazinger Z. This is a 3D movie. The animation is actually pretty good. Uh, the story is like a direct sequel. So if you haven't seen anything else from Mazinger Z, you're going to be kind of left in the dark. And that's kind of okay, kind of not okay. So if you are okay with like just going in blindly, you will have a good time. Uh, Ninja Scroll. This is one of the best animated movies. No, oh, excuse me. Holy crap, I almost just threw up or something. Uh, one of the best animated movies, period. I absolutely love this series. I think this is phenomenal. Uh, it's a lot of violence, a lot of boobs, and a lot of good time. So check that out. Uh, yeah, here it is. One Punch Man. Uh, I, 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 I have the special edition. I just didn't grab it like I did with the, um, oh, what do you call it? The JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Uh, season one is one of the best modern animes. Uh, really sad that we probably aren't going to get another season animated this well. Uh, season two, hit or miss, depending on how you feel about it. Oh my god, guys, we have so much more anime to talk about. So much more. Holy shit. Uh, we got Black Lagoon, one of the most badass over the top sexy shows of all time this is a madhouse joint and man madhouse throughout the ages you know ninja scroll vampire hunter deep love us and then you know this stuff in the modern times they just knock it out of the park they are one of the only studios that i can rely and count on for doing a great job this is a uh, zet man one of the complete collection we i love the manga of this and really sad that we never got an official release uh but this is a phenomenal phenomenal uh superhero like series this is kind of like a superhero series a lot of fun. Really happy to own that. Uh, then we got Project Arms. I believe this is a another out-of-print discotheque title. Uh, this is a over-the-top uh, battle shonen. I don't think mine's series. Is, oh, mine is open, yes. I just haven't watched it in this box set yet. Um, then we got Cassern Sins. Ruin is the salvation of man and machine in the Under the Save series. This is a... Uh, I believe a mild, mildly modern retelling of a classic. Uh, really happy to own that as well. And then we got, speaking of classics, we got Go Speed Racer. Uh, one of the oldest series in my collection. Uh, I just, I love Speed Racer. I grew up on Speed Racer. I grew up watching it. And I think it's really fun. And I think, I, it definitely does not hold up in 2019. Uh, but it is a lot of fun, and uh, if you can stand that kind of cheesiness, you are going to have a good time with it. Uh, we got Paprika. This is uh, Satoshi Kon's, one of my favorite Satoshi Kon films. Uh, I need to watch this with the wife. We watched Perfect Blue together, and we both really enjoyed Perfect Blue. Uh, then we got Blood Blockade Battlefront and Beyond. This is the second season from the same creator as Trigun. One of the best anime of the last, I want to say, 10, 15 years. Uh, speaking of Satoshi Kon, we got Perfect Blue. This is uh, this is essential. If you want to start an anime collection, I believe this film is essential to your collection. It is uh, beautifully animated still. Uh, who did the animation? I think it might be actually be Madhouse. So uh, beautifully animated. Amazing story. I think the reason why it holds up so well is that it's one of those series, one of those shows, one of those movies where it could be live action. Just the fact that it's animated... It's just, you know, it's just one of those things where it's, it happens to be animated. But amazing show. We got Fist of the North Star. One of my top five favorite animes of all time. It's all 152 episodes on three Blu-rays. Disco Tech did a phenomenal release with this. Uh, if you have not watched uh, Fist of the North Star at all, it's one of the most bloody, most over-the-top. It's technically a shonen, but... Definitely don't think it belongs in the shonen category. It's way too violent for that. Uh, My Hero Academia, Two Heroes. This is the My Hero Academia movie. Honestly, it was a little let down for this. The obviously the animation is very well done. Studio Bones, you know, does great does great work. Uh, but I didn't really like this. I thought this was going to be a lot better than it is, and it's not. Kind of, this is my biggest letdown of last year. And even though that is my biggest letdown, it's still a pretty good year for anime, right, guys? Oh, we got Vampire Hunter D. And Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust. These are based off a uh, light novel series. Um, 
if you had to pick, I would definitely watch Bloodlust over the original. Bloodlust holds up much, much better than the original series does. Uh, not the hate on the original uh, movie, but the second movie was kind of a sorry for how poorly animated the original was. Uh, then we got three seasons of Beyblade. Uh, we got Beyblade G Revolution, B Bay 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 Beyblade V Force, and Beyblade the original classic first series. I loved Beyblade as a kid, and I still love Beyblade as a 27 year old adult. I don't know if that's bad or good. Uh, we got season one, Blood Blood Cave Battlefront, that was just misplaced from season two, like I said. Same creator as Trigon, really creative. The manga is so out of print for some volumes. Uh, Dark Horse, I hope they put out like an omnibus format because I did have it at one point, sold it. I kind of regret it, but the anime does a fine enough job of retelling that story. And we got Tomorrow's Joe, uh, one of the most important sports anime of all time. This inspired countless of series. Uh, definitely the inspiration for um, uh, Megalobox, which was recently one of the best animes I've seen. Uh, if this discotheque put this out, so if you want a good boxing manga with you know some drama in it, pick it up. Uh, we got Detroit Metal City, one of the most funniest shows in my collection. Uh, Metal Oculus, but the Japanese version, it's just over the top fun. Uh, this is technically MFKZ, uh, motherfuckers. Uh, this is a French animated, but it's co produced with a Japanese studio. Uh, really fun. The English voices uh, include um, Rizza, Vince Staples, Danny Trejo. So definitely pick this up if you want something that's just out there with a really cool uh, art style. I had a lot of fun watching it. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Brawly. Again, this was one of the coolest things I've seen for a from a Dragon Ball from the Dragon Ball franchise. Uh, I was supposed to go see this in theaters. I missed out, but someone uploaded the entire movie on my birthday on January 29th and I watched it on YouTube before I got taken down and then I had to pick this up because I am a huge fan of Dragon Ball even though I don't own you're gonna see I don't own a lot of Dragon Ball uh that's probably gonna be next on the agenda is getting the shonen that I love uh right here we got Shin Geta Robo versus Neo Geta Robo this is uh still sealed another discotheque title uh I love Geta Robo and I'm really wanting to jump into this uh Four episode OVA series. We are getting giant robo soon, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, then here is Get a Robo Armageddon again. Discotech just seems to be just putting out awesome, awesome series. Anything that's more my taste, they seem to be putting out. Uh, we got Space Runaway Ideon, uh, the creator of Gundam, created the show right after Gundam. Gundam failed at first, a lot of people don't know that. Uh, and then he created that show. That show touches on a lot of mature topics. Uh, a little bit more mature than Gundam. And then we got another stack here. We got Death Parade. Death Parade is a one of the newer Madhouse series that is really solid. This is under the classic collection for a uh, reason. I had a lot of fun watching this series when it, when, when it was airing. I don't normally watch series as they're airing. I usually like wait till they're all out, but I was watching that weekly. Uh, Star Blade was twenty one ninety nine, uh, season one, uh, part one of the series. I have already talked about part two. Uh, like again, I probably just jumbled these up for some reason, but uh, really happy to own this. Uh, 20, 2022 is coming out or it's out already. Part one is at least, need to get that. And then we got Pet Shop of Whores. This is a classic horror anime. Um, I've seen episode one online. I did a little bit of a test, see if I would like it. And I did like it. Bizarre Individual recommends this a lot. He said it's a lot of fun. Uh, then we got Knights of Sidonia, part one and part two. Part two is Battle for Planet Nine. Um, so based on the based on the work Knights of Sidonia by Satomo Nihei, if you guys know I'm a huge Nihei fan. Uh, I think out of all the 3D anime that Netflix has under their Netflix original brand, I think that might be one of the best. Uh, Sword of the Stranger, uh, feature film. My friend Ice keeps telling me to watch this. So you know what, Ice? I'm going to and I'm going to review it. For you, brother, um, this is supposed to be one of the best underrated animes of all time, so I'm going to check it out. Uh, we got Your Mungin plus Your Mungin Perfect Order. I had the manga of this, sold it off, missed the story, so I decided to pick this up. So I haven't dived into it yet, uh, but I will very soon. And we got Cannonin, and we got Broken Blade. Uh, this is when Sentai Filmworks was having their sale. I needed to push my order up a little bit to get free shipping. 
and these were both five dollars a piece i believe so i ended up picking them up i like the uh mech designs in broken blade and cannon looks like a badass female led show kind of like black lagoon uh, then we got Orange, the complete series, something that's a little bit out of my wheelhouse, as you guys would probably guess, not my usual type of anime, but I really liked it, and it was pretty heartfelt. I thought it, I thought it was beautiful. Uh, then we got The Legend of Legendary Heroes, a very solid fantasy show. I highly recommend you guys pick this up, especially under the save banner. Um, this is uh, worth the money, and it's relatively inexpensive. Uh, for those who hunt elves, this is another isekai that I actually enjoy. Tucker Mike and Jen Graves uh, recommended me it. I usually don't listen to their recommendations because they're usually bad. Uh, but that one was actually pretty solid. Then we got Kassan uh, from the same creator as um, uh, Speed Racer. I don't know why I'm talking about anime for however long we've been talking about it. It's been melting my brain. Uh, this is the original 35-episode uh, series. Uh, this is the same creator as Gatchaman as well. Um... It's just if you like that style of anime, that's that, that time period, you're gonna love it. Uh, this is the Appleseed movie. Uh, yeah, this is the movie. Uh, it's rated R. Uh, I don't know why it's rated R. I believe it's just that time period where a lot of animated films are just getting the R rated. Uh, this is the Gundam movie trilogy. This is the OG series. Um, so a lot of people, like I said, Gundam failed, the TV show failed. It wasn't until these movies came out in Japanese theaters that the franchise just exploded. And now we have Gundam as we have it today. is a legendary, legendary series. And I'm so glad that we do have Gundam. It's one of my favorite franchises. Uh, then we got Cobra the Animation. I am missing the... Uh, this is uh, the 13-episode series. Uh, the Psycho Gun OVA, four episodes. Time Drive OVA, three episodes on... Two episodes on three discs. Uh, this is a really fun, over-the-top um, science sci-fi show. Uh, Darling the Franks Part 1. I don't have Part 2. I definitely want to pick up Part 2 to complete the series. This is the first 12 episodes. Uh, Studio Trigger and Studio 1A, I believe. Uh, collaboration. Uh, a lot of people shit on this. I There's a lot of things wrong with it, but it's one of the shows that engrossed me uh, when it was airing, and I don't know why. I just fell in love with it, and, and it's one of my favorites now. So I definitely recommend pick, checking out Darling the Franks, streaming at least. It's not for everybody. Uh, then we got Final Fantasy King's Glaive, uh, Final Fantasy XV. This is the prequel movie that is kind of mandatory if you want to play the game, which is really weird because uh, this like literally directly leads into the movie. This is like why uh, Noctis and his group of friends are eva are like are like trying to fight back and save their kingdom. Uh, I drove forty five minutes to see this movie in theaters with a friend, and when we got there, the projector was broke. It was all purple when we were seeing the movie, and we got a refund, but uh, the refund was a, a coupon to the movie theater, and we're like, we're not driving 45 minutes again. Uh, so I, I watched that movie the first time all in purple. Yay. Uh, Kids on the Slope, uh, Shin another Shinichiro Watanabe um, uh, classic. Uh, his newest series, Carol on Tuesday, really reminds me of Kids on the Slope because it's based on music. Uh, you can't go wrong with anything Shinichiro Watanabe. Uh, Batman Ninja, this is the dumbest, most stupid thing I have in my collection, uh, but so much fun. I had a blast watching this. My wife did not like watching this, and for some reason for a while, my daughter would steal this Blu-ray and just hide it around the house, so uh, if you like the Batman franchise and you want to see giant mechs and feudal Japan and the whole Batman gang and the, and the villains all dressed up in like traditional old Japanese uniforms check it out uh, made in abyss one of the most um, deceiving anime because it's very cutesy but there's some really fucked up stuff in that anime my wife really liked it uh, I definitely want to get into the manga because I know the manga goes beyond it. I think chapter 22 I was actually gonna buy one of the volumes the other day and uh, you have to buy volume 4 but it's like half of the movie or half the series and then more content in the middle so I decided against it I got something else uh, the Halo Legends anime. Uh, there's some Japanese stuff in here. Uh, it's just part of my anime collection. It's just in there. Um, if you like Halo, I think the Halo lore in the franchise is pretty intriguing, but I think the games are pretty lackluster overall besides the multiplayer. Uh, we got Starfleet. Uh, Go Nagai Puppet Show. Uh, Discotech put this out on Blu-ray. Kind of crazy that they put this out on Blu-ray, and I kind of crazy I just dropped it. Um, 
this is really intriguing and it got me into puppet shows so now i'm watching uh, thunderbolt fantasy i think is crazy awesome we'll probably never get an official thunderbolt fantasy release in english sadly i would kill for it though uh we got your name uh this movie made me weep uh with my wife we were holding each other just crying i think it's one of the best films of the last decade uh we got samurai shampoo another shinichiro watanabe i love the soundtrack uh Nujibis, uh Rest in peace and did a lot of the music. Uh, Elfin lied uh, again. Uh, this is the anime where if you, you either really like it or you really hate it, I tend to be in the middle. I'm like one of those people where it's like, eh. Uh, I, am, I just finished reading the first volume of the manga, I think. I don't know if I'm going to upload my first impressions before this video or after this video. Uh, but expect first impressions sometime in the next couple days or before this even, you know. Uh, then we got Armor Trooper Votoms. Uh, this is the complete TV series in the OVA collection, part one. Uh, there is one more part for the OVA collection. Uh, I'm a big Armor Trooper Votoms fan. It's one of my favorite uh, mecha series. Uh, we got Tawanero, Tawano Kwan. Uh, this is the film series of the franchise. Uh, haven't seen all the films. There's like a lot of, I think there's like six or seven films in this collection. Haven't seen them all, but pretty solid. Uh, Shiguri, one of the most underrated um samurai show one of the most underrated anime i've seen recently uh i wish we would have gotten a second season to this uh because i really really like this. this is a madhouse joint um not as well animated as a lot of madhouse's other stuff because i think it was their b team who did it um but it's great nonetheless we got record of lodos war uh, this is the ova post chronicles of the hero knight this is the uh ova tv show uh, collection on Blu-ray, uh, another isekai. Oh no, no, this isn't isekai. This is not an isekai. This is a high fantasy show. Oh, uh, there's not that you know. There's not that much high fantasy anime. Uh, oh, let's do, let's do this stack. Let's do, let's flip these around. Oh boy, don't want to drop anything. Uh, we got Great Mazinger. This is all fifty-six episodes. This is the older series. A lot of fun. A lot of stupid in this, but a lot of fun nonetheless. Space Warrior Baldios. Um, kind of shocked that we got Space Warrior Baldios. Uh, awesome mech series that Discotech puts out. Uh, if you guys notice that I do say stuff is awesome, stuff is great a lot. And I'm going to say this again about this series. Go Sugar. Uh, the complete series. I don't know how many episodes this is. 26 episodes. Uh, kind of a similar vibe to Space Warrior Baldios. I think they actually came out in the same month from Discotech. Discotech likes to put two or three Blu-rays or DVDs out every month. Oh, we got Outlaw Star. This is this was airing the same time as Cowboy Bebop and Trigun on Toonami, I believe. Um, I think this is the most underrated of the bunch. No one really talks about Outlaw Star. No, it's uh, Mesquio J's favorite anime, and I completely get why. Uh, this is uh, Knocking on Heaven's Door, the Cowboy Bebop movie. This is the uh, Steelbook uh, Blu-ray collection. Uh, really not as good as the television show. Obviously, I don't think a lot of things are as good as the anime, but still really solid. Uh, Trigon's Badlands Rubble. This is probably the thing that holds up the most out of the franchise. Uh, definitely pick this up. This is a 90 minutes of intense double eaten action. Donut eaten action, sorry. Uh, the 60 billion double dollar man is back, and he's kicking ass. Uh, Ergo Proxy. Uh, this is one of those series where I think it... It gets a little too up its own ass. Uh, it's a little too, like, tries to do too much. But overall, it is a classic, I believe. I had a lot of fun with it. Speaking of classics, we got uh, the Pat Labor uh, box set here. The Mobile Police Pat Labor box set. This is the movies, the OVA series, the OVA series and the complete television series. Uh, this is a classic, classic franchise put out by Made in Japan, which I believe is Funimation. I believe I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. I'm wrong a lot more of the times than I am right. Uh, then next we got my Ghost in the Shell stuff. So we got Ghost in the Shell, Standalone Complex, uh, Solid State Society. Uh, we got Standalone Complex, Second Gig. Uh, we got Standalone Complex, the uh, complete um, first season. Uh, then we got Ghost in the Shell 2, Innocence, which I think is underrated. I think this is a phenomenal movie. Uh, then we got the original Ghost in the Shell. Uh, this is the 25th anniversary edition, and I believe this is a couple years old now, so I think the movie is closer to 30 years. 
which is pretty insane for how well uh, that show holds up, for, for how well that movie holds up, especially in today's age. It's actually really insane. I watched that recently and it felt like it could be... And I actually liked the movie. I think the movie was pretty solid, the, the live-action movie. Um, I get I get people's grievances for wanting a Japanese actress, but I think ScarJo did a great job. And then we got Iron-Blooded Orphans, uh, season one. Like I said, this is one of my favorite... This actually might be one of my favorite all-time Gundam series. I uh, really, really like this series. I've already talked uh, in mild detail about it. Um... Molsu Gundam December Sky. Uh, this is Thunderbolt. And we also got Bandit Flower. Uh, the original web series. Uh, it was probably never going to come out on Blu-ray. Uh, these are just movie versions of that of that show. Beautiful. Like, just in exquisitely animated. Uh, if you like giant robots, you should pick this out. This is again in the Universal Century timeline. Um, the manga is one of my favorite mangas of this year. Uh, that's ongoing. And it's... I think up to 12 volumes now, 11, 12 volumes. Phenomenal manga. You definitely pick it up, uh, read it, or watch it. Your choice. I'm not going to make you. I'm not going to make you. Uh, then we got Kill a Kill. This is uh, the complete series. Uh, the release for Kill a Kill in the States sucked. Uh, sucked a lot. Uh, so uh, get yourself a region-free Blu-ray player so you can play anime from all over the world. Uh, the UK got... Wow, what a, what a fucking concept. Releasing a show... Uh, and not a lot of parts, not charging an arm and a leg for said parts, and having it just be a fucking boot, just a fucking Blu-ray. Uh, it's 1 through 9, 10 through 19, 20 through 25. Sorry for cussing, but that shit really, it really pisses me off how, like, I have some Aniplex titles, but Aniplex can really go fuck themselves for their pricing structure. I don't understand it at all. Uh... If I didn't like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood that much, I wouldn't be paying for those box sets. But we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Akira. Recently watched this. Still holds up. Still a classic. Still a vital part of anyone's collection. Again, 25, 25th anniversary. I don't know if that's a couple years old or not. Um, ugh. My daughter watched this with me. I probably shouldn't let my daughter watch that. And she's only 17 months, but she was glued. Uh, Final Fantasy uh, Seven Advent Children Complete. This is a... This is a guilty pleasure because it's not good by any stretch of the imagination. But as a Final Fantasy fan and a Final Fantasy VII fan, in fact, uh, it was like a wet dream come true seeing some of those fight scenes play out. And uh, when the phone rings and it's the da 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 I was like, oh, I know that sound. I was a little kid when it came out. Uh, Redline. Again, Madhouse just being badasses and showing what they can do. This took seven years to hand animate. Go watch this. This is one of the best animated movies I've ever seen in my entire life. I love this series. It's over the top. It's goofy, but it is exhilarating. I Go pick this up. Go. I'm going to tell you to do that. Uh, the Night is Short, Walk On Girl. This is one of those things where like my wife didn't like it, but I found it really en endearing. Um, it's from Masaki Yusai. Uh, the director of Tatami Galaxy, Mind Game, and Lou Over the Wall. I believe it's the same guy who did Devilman Cry Baby. I could be completely wrong. Hopefully I'm not wrong. I'm usually right. I like to be right. But this is a really endearing uh, film. And I could probably watch this again and again and again. Uh, it puts me in a very calm uh, frame of mind. And I really really enjoy it. Uh, Maz and Kaiser SKL. Uh, crazy over the top three part OVA series. Uh, just giant robots doing giant robot shit and battling each other. Uh, then we got Drifters, technically an isekai, the creator of Helsing. Uh, the manga is still in print, as I know of it uh, being in print. Um, really fun uh, anime. Uh, love this series. Uh, violent Sanin, and I'm really glad to own it. Uh, just a bunch of historical figures from around the world get thrown into this world, and they have to... Um, survive and fight and then we got god mars this is the complete tv series ova and movie uh giant robot mech series S solid stuff go pick it up um and then this is stuff in my newest haul video so you guys are probably gonna be like what the hell uh, the wonderful wizard of oz 
uh, this is the this is all 52 episodes in the Japanese language with English subtitles. I believe they're doing the same thing with Lupin, where it's there's an English language version, uh, but this is the Japanese version. Really cool uh, rendition of this franchise, and I think the care. I think I like this more than the original movie. Uh, the Twelve Kingdoms is an isekai, technically. And it's one of the, this scratched the same uh, itch as Game of Thrones. I think this is beautifully animated. Um, it's one of those digital color um, animes like early on. And uh, just the world building is exquisite. And uh, this is based on a series of light novels. So go check that out as well. Uh, then we got Maz and Kaiser uh, part one and two. And I think I own all the Maz and Kaiser and Mazinger stuff now on DVD. Uh, this is more Go Nagai crazy goodness. Just Go Nagai is just a badass. I say this a lot. Uh, we got Super Sentai Jetman, uh, one of my favorite Super Sentai series. I need to pick up the rest that are on DVD uh, to show uh, Shot Factory that you know I want more, even though we probably won't because the licenses did change hands. They are now in the hands of um, Hasbro. So. And then we got Sorcerer Hunters. Uh, this is another Discotech title. This is a complete series in OVA. I like that Discotech tends to put entire series into um, like a single box. So you get the OVA plus the show. Uh, unlike Sentai Filmworks, where they will um, put out a TV show. Like for instance, Girl and Panzer. TV Blu-ray, OVA Blu-ray. Thought I was done. And then they have a third OVA that's a single standalone OVA. It just pisses me off. Uh, then we got my favorite, just my favorite release of the year in general is Mega Beast Investigator Just Beyond. Uh, another great tokusatsu show, Discotech's first tokusatsu show. Hopefully this is selling well for them because I would love to get more tokusatsu. Like I said, tokusatsu, tokusatsu is my favorite. Um, then we got Nadia, The Secret of Blue Water from the creators of Neon Genesis Evangelion. Uh, this is a essential, beautiful, just endearing anime it's based off of uh uh it's it, it's inspired by Twenty Thousand leagues under the sea and i totally get that vibe i can totally understand where that's coming from uh then we got more tetsujin uh goodness we got uh morning over morning moon of midday and which is a movie and then we got the complete 2004 tv series tetsujin 28 a uh, classic japanese anime franchise uh, then probably the second worst anime of all time, uh, Angel Cop. Same thing as Violence Jack, over the top to the point where it's n just ridiculous. But at the same time, there's something about it that you're kind of like, eh, I like it. Uh, but uh, critically speaking, it, it is garbage. Uh, then we got probably one of the most underrated Gundam shows of all time. Uh, this is the 8th MS team. Uh, this is a very gritty, very real, I've heard this is like Gundam if it's in, um, Vietnam, and I totally see that, totally get that vibe. Uh, we got Fist of the North Star, the movie, uh, the movie is crazy, just absolutely crazy. Imagine the TV show, but a little bit better anime, because the TV show did run super long, so they had to cut a lot of corners. Uh, same with the Space Warrior, Baldios, the movie. Uh, by this cover, you wouldn't think it was a mecha show, you know? But when you flip it over, there's the mech. Uh, then we got GoGo13. This is one of the best-selling of manga of all time. Um, this is a really violent, fun show uh, about a guy with really thick eyebrows shooting shit. Can't go wrong with thick eyebrows. You know? Just can't go wrong with them. Uh, then we got Eat Man and Eat Man 98. This is uh, both series put out by Discotech on one. Uh, Blu-ray disc, 24 episodes in standard uh, definition. Uh, Eat Man is one of those uh, almost forgotten franchises, so it's kind of cool that they, you know, put it out. Speaking of speaking of forgotten franchises, uh, we got New Hurricane Polymar. Uh, I I don't even know. I don't even know what to say about this. This is ridiculous. Uh, really surprised that Discotech uh, put this out to begin with. But again, Discotech surprises me. Uh, Discotech's like that cool uncle, you know, who always puts out cool shit. Uh, like my Uncle Tony. He got me into video games. I remember going to uh, uh, his house, and uh, we were playing Diablo and Mortal Kombat, and then he introduced me into my love for for, for films. Uh, when, my, when I was really young, my dad had a heart attack. My dad's still alive, thank God. 
love that guy. Love, love you, Dad. You're, you are the boss. Uh, but my dad did suffer a heart attack when I was younger, and my uncle uh, brought me home and brought me into his house, and we watched Mad Max, uh, the OG series, uh, Road Warrior, Thunderdome. Then we watched Jason X, which is the Jason movie in space. And uh, he took my mind off of what was happening, and that's how discotheque is. They're like that cool uncle that does cool shit for you. And another discotheque release, Bokurano. I have not seen it in the anime. The manga uh, was very hit or miss for me. I think it was trying too hard to do too many um, deep things, you know. Uh, so I'm going to try the anime out. Uh, then we got Dan Kuga. Dan Kuga, Super Beast Machine God. Uh, I heard this was amazing. So I picked it up, and hopefully it is. I like amazing things. Uh, Wild 7, another. Uh, this is the movie. I No, this is a complete TV series. I believe this is either the sequel or a prequel to uh, a wider franchise. Uh, we got Nightwalker, the complete series of Vampire Show. Mike said it was pretty decent. Uh, Area 88, I really like this OVA series. It's a very cool concept, and uh, we don't get a lot of jet fighter anime stuff you know ace combat's good that's a that's a video game though uh we got dino king dino mech guy king again one of those things disco tech being a cool uncle putting out cool ridiculous stuff um then we got ayakashi which is gonna be really weird because disco tech just recently licensed another anime called ayakashi um dead samurai tales or something like that so it's gonna be weird when people are trying to pick that up and they accidentally run in or purchase that Ayakashi. Uh, then we got um, Ira Zyram, the animation, the master collection. Uh, and then that is all just that's non box set stuff. Uh, box sets. Let's start out with uh, this. We got Razafon. Razafon is one of my favorite mech series. Uh, a lot of people say it is a Evangelion ripoff. I do not think that at all. I think it is his own thing. It stands up on its own two feet, and it does what it does extremely well. Uh, got the Gun Grave, a complete box set. Same creator as Trigun. Uh, this was create Gun Grave was created as a video game first, and then it got an anime adaptation. Uh, and it's just um, it's fun. It's a fun show to watch. Uh, again. With the time frame that I have for recording this, I can't just be like, oh, can't go into detail for everything, so excuse me. But one of my favorite shonen of all time, uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This is the uh, complete Blu-ray box set, one and two. Uh, by Anaplex, these are really, really nice releases. The Blu-rays are very beautiful to watch. Um, if you have not seen Full Metal Alchemist, some people like the original. I don't, but I don't like. I don't think it's bad, but I think some people do like the original over the, um, over Brotherhood. But I think Brotherhood is the best. Uh, then we got the Gundam, uh, uh, Unicorn uni uh, box set. Uh, this came with an exclusive uh, Gunpla figure. Uh, then we got Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Boom, boom, boom! The complete series. This is all. Everything, all the movies, all the OVAs, all the television episodes. It's a insane, insane franchise that I uh, love very dearly. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, we got Samurai Deeper Kyo. This is one of those um, anime where this was super cheap to pick up, so I decided to pick it up. I, I like this box set. Uh, this is a really cool series. Uh, I think the manga is a little bit better than the anime, but hey. And then we got uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Double O. This is the Ultra, the 10th Anniversary Ultra Edition. Uh, really awesome release from Nizomi Entertainment, uh, which is basically Right Stuff's anime brand. I love this show. And I just realized I forgot one thing. I forgot my... New Get a Robo box set, but I don't feel like getting up and getting it. So uh, that's over there. You'll see that in the haul video probably. But yeah, guys, this has been my entire anime collection. And I am exhausted from talking for so long about anime. So uh, let me know what you guys think of my collection. Uh, there are some things missing, obviously. I do want to pick up some Shonen. I want to pick up uh, Dragon Ball. I want to pick up, especially Super. I uh, want to pick up, um, I think that's it, Shonen-wise. Um, want to pick up the rest of the Gundam stuff that I'm missing from my collection and 
the rest of the discotheque titles. But anyways, guys, and Super Sentai. Uh, anyways, guys, I'm Flipotaku. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This has been a super long video, uh, but I wanted to do this. I think this was a lot of fun, and uh, I had a blast doing it. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys next time.